In today's video, we're going to be talking about what gear is most essential for making YouTube videos. So today I thought we would talk about what gear is really essential. Um, I'm actually not staying at my house at the moment and may not be heading home maybe for like a month or two. So I had a moment or two to grab a, a few essential items and I wanted to go over those items with you um, and sort of show you my somewhat studio setting, although I wouldn't quite call this a studio um, and I do miss my green screen at home. However, uh, I'll show you the items that I decided to bring along with me and we'll see if I made the right decision in the upcoming weeks. All right, let's first talk about the iPhone X or the iPhone 10, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this thing is a beast. I absolutely adore this, uh, this phone. The camera quality is fantastic. And I actually upgraded from an iPhone SE uh, directly to this. So for, for me to make that big jump, man, what a light years difference in change. So yeah, this thing is is absolutely essential. Um, there's some great apps. I just did do a, a review on a, a new app by Filmora called Vlog It. And prior to me uh, picking up some of my uh, essential other gear, I was using that app along with this. Uh, wasn't even using an external mic or anything. Just uh, Just the phone itself in order to make videos. As long as you have a phone with a good app that allows you to edit, I mean, at the end of the day, that's all you really need. All right, I am going to switch over to my iPhone X uh, just so I can show you my, my actual setup. Uh, that way you can see the, the rest of what's going on around here. All right, are you ready? All right, so uh, the next thing I wanted to talk about is my microphone. Um, Microphone, audio, sound, uh, I would say that's even more important than, um, than your actual camera. So if, uh, if you're going to invest in something, I definitely would go for audio before investing in anything else. And uh, let me show you it here. So what you're looking at here is, uh, is uh, my family's antique clock, but that antique clock has become a little bit of a, of a tripod, or in this case, an actual boom pole. The Rode Video Mic Pro Plus is actually what you're seeing here. And you may be asking yourself, well, you know, why would you invest in, in something like that? Um, the, the biggest reason is actually because it turns off and turns on when you're using your camera. And it's, uh, it's really cool that it has that feature. Now, the next thing I wanted to go over with you was the, um, is my camera. And what I actually have is the Canon EOS Rebel SL2. And uh, it is a beginner camera, but I absolutely love it because it, uh, it gives me a lot of options and a lot of things to play with as far as, um, as, as, far as the camera goes, because I do like to tinker with things and change settings and do all that sorts of stuff. So it does allow me to do that. Uh, let me show you that here. And um, what you're actually looking at is uh, my, my travel tripod and I have my SL2 uh, set up directly to that and um, I've used a little extension cord in order to get um, my boom pole or my mic closer to my mouth just so the, the sound will be a little bit better. But uh, overall, I mean, I, I just, I absolutely love this camera. Right now on the camera, I have the, um, the Nifty 50, but I do tend to use um, the 10 to 18 millimeter. And uh, yeah, I, I really, really, really love this camera. I think it's fantastic. Uh, but moving on, right, right above the camera, you'll see I have an aperture light. Uh, if you're gonna invest again in any light, and this particular li particular light is not that expensive, man, the aperture light is the way to go. I mean, it's it's uh, it's been a a savior in many 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 uh, situations. Yeah, as far as the aperture light goes, man, I, I actually used it um, during Hurricane Irma. All right, I gotta talk a little tech um, because I didn't talk about anything techy today. Uh, there's an unsung hero with the lighting situation here because we are um, absolutely powerless, literally. Um, and this is the this is the aperture uh, light, and it is absolutely fantastic. And I'm so happy I have it um, and use it as just a general flashlight when we lost power because that thing really emits some light. Um, it's really, really, really fantastic. And um, that's definitely something you gotta have in your bag. So good lighting 
microphone. Uh, as far as the camera, again, you can use your, your phone or a point and shoot. Um, I was using a point and shoot, but I found syncing the audio to be really, really annoying, which is why I finally switched over to a DSLR. Um, just makes life a lot easier and editing a lot quicker. Um, and it, the other thing that, that is really important, uh, and I'll show you right over here. Dun, 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 dun. This would be my Mavic Pro um, by DJI. And uh, in my haste to run out of the house with my most essential items, uh, I did grab the Mavic, grab some batteries, got a charger, but propellers would be really important in this situation. I can't believe I forgot the propellers. Like, how does somebody forget the propellers? I just assumed they were on there. I have a little, um, uh, like a little carrying case. I just assumed everything was in there and it was definitely not in there. So I don't know where the propellers are, but um, Amazon Prime. So hopefully it'll get here in a couple of days. The other thing that I noticed as I was going over some settings today and making sure that, you know, all the software was updated that um, I also forgot my SD card. So yeah, that's been, that's been really good. So my essential item um, luckily is not that essential. Just saying, just saying. And last but not least, uh, the, the last item definitely by far is my, uh, my Asus computer and it is um it's an asus zen book and it does have 4k display and with this i mean it's just an awesome easy computer to use i absolutely adore it i think asus is a fantastic company and um, i use it right along with the filmora software so i don't need a subscription and that's how i do all of it and those are my essential items Thank you so much for stopping by with me today and taking a look at my gear and my, my mini setup. Uh, if you're interested in seeing some more videos about uh, gear and gizmos and gadgets, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell. And I certainly hope I'll see you soon and hope to hear from you in the comments below. All right, have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.